Good morning, everybody. It is Friday, and our reading today comes from John uh, chapter 7. Listen to these words. On the last day of the festival, the great day, while Jesus was standing there, he cried out, Let anyone who is thirsty come to me, and let the one who believes in me drink. As the scripture has said, Out of the believer's heart shall flow rivers of living water. Now I said this about the Spirit, which believers in him were to receive, for as yet there was no Spirit, because Jesus was not yet glorified. And when they heard these words, some of the crowd said, This really is the prophet, and others said, This is the Messiah. But some asked, Surely the Messiah doesn't come from Galilee, does he? Has not the scripture said that the Messiah is descended from David, and comes from Bethlehem, the village where David lived? So there was a division in the crowd because of him. Some of them wanted to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him. And the temple police went back to the chief priests and the Pharisees who asked them, Why did you not arrest him? The police answered, Never has anyone spoken like this. And the Pharisees replied, Surely you have not been deceived too, have you? Has any one of the authorities or of the Pharisees believed in him? But this crowd, which does not know the law, they are accursed. Now Nicodemus, who had gone to Jesus before, and who was one of them, asked, Our law does not judge people without first giving them a hearing to find out what they are doing, does it? And they replied, Surely you are not also from Galilee, are you? Search, and you will see that no prophet is to arise from Galilee. This is the word of the Lord. Sorry, my, uh... Oh! Office light turned off so um the <laughs> that light drives me crazy the uh jesus is is gathered here in the, in the festival and is talking about the living water but people don't believe because it doesn't jibe with what they had been taught in the past that god might be doing something different or that maybe they just don't have all the uh, information they need and that i think speaks to us today we want to to feel god moving in our lives we want to feel the spirit moving in our lives but sometimes um, that movement doesn't doesn't compute maybe with some of the things we've thought we knew or that um, others have told us about how God does things. Here, obviously, um, God is is doing something that wasn't expected. Um, and we see that all throughout Jesus' life and ministry. And so today I ask that you think about what you see happening in the world around you, what you see happening in your life, how God might be calling you to um, to respond to that, and how God might be um, teaching you something new, uh, causing, making you rethink some of the things that you that you've held for a long time, or or rethink some of the things you you thought you knew, uh, and re-examine them in the light of the Spirit. Uh, let us go to God in prayer. Glorious God, we give you thanks that we can be changed through you that your word is alive, that your spirit is alive, that Christ is alive, and that we are people who worship a living God, not, not something that is unchangeable and, and completely unknowable, but that instead you are constantly bringing new freshness and breath so that we may see ways of of using your word in our lives today and we pray God that you help us to move with you in this world led by your spirit and fed by living water we pray all this in the name of your son our Lord Jesus Christ who taught us to pray saying our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Family, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen. Shalom.